The kingdom of God is a compelling vision that Jesus shares with us and is rooted in this much longer story shaped by great books like Daniel, like Deuteronomy, like Genesis. I think for many Christians, if they're honest, they're not really quite sure what the kingdom is about. Kingdom is one of those terms that we Christians throw around a lot as if we all know what we're talking about, as if we're all talking about the same thing. Uh, and oftentimes, I think if you scratch below the surface, you see that we're not. Many of us struggle, like what difference does the kingdom really make to my everyday life? How do I work that out personally? If I belong to this kingdom, what's my identity as a kingdom member? So I remember when I first came to Christ uh, when I was a sophomore in college. I didn't know anything about the Bible, didn't know anything about God, uh, but this particular uh, group that led me to Christ and I will forever be indebted to them, they had me memorize Matthew 6.33 but seek first his kingdom and his righteousness, and all these things will be added unto you as well. Now, sometimes what would happen is I would have a choice to make as to, you know, do I go to this particular conference or do I study for this test coming up on Monday? And once in a while, somebody would say, well, hey, I want to show you Matthew 6.33. If you're really seeking first the kingdom, you'll go to this Christian conference, right? And for the longest time, I'd say, well, I guess so. But then I had to stop and think like, well, wait a minute, do, do my studies matter to God? And is that part of the kingdom? And how does what I do for a living matter to the kingdom? I've been studying the gospels for decades and my specialty is in Jesus and the gospels. And as I go through the gospels, I continue to be in awe about what Jesus has to say about the kingdom. And no, it doesn't matter how long I spend in the gospels, I'm always learning new things and it's shaping the way I understand the kingdom. What I really want to do with this book, and I think I have done, is brought the kingdom back where it belongs, square in the middle of the story of creation, in the middle of the story of Adam, but also in the middle of the story of Israel. What the kingdom asks us to do is buy into its story and participate in a new identity, whether you're pastor, or whether you're, you've got a doctorate, or whether you became a Christian yesterday and are now starting to read the Bible, whatever level you may be, this book can begin to unpack the mystery of the kingdom.